Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, this is Freddie with Simmons Industries. We are going to do a quick tutorial on mixing. Uh, I want to get straight into it about the time signature for mixing um, and what it looks like. By the way, it's 87 degrees out right now, so I'm not air conditioned, I'm not temperature controlled. I'm spraying open environment in regards to what the ambient temperature is and what's in my shop. So we're just gonna go straight to it. Let's get the can open and make it happen. Color in the A side. And I'm actually going to run a timer on my phone just so that we're very accurate with mixing. Um, all right. I'm going to mix color and A side for about 10 15 seconds. Mind you, I use uh, as high a speed on the drill as I can without sloshing the material out. All right, now, starting my timer. I usually mix the B side and the A side component together, you know, pouring it all out, getting it all together. Usually takes about 15 seconds, and then we're off to the races. And if you have any questions about mixing, the can has detailed instructions on it, so you can read the can as well, the A side and the B side. Once you get close to a minute, we start getting thick. All right, so we're about a minute and 15 seconds in. Got some good consistency there. I'm gonna keep mixing for a minute and get up to a minute and a half. All right, there's my minute and a half. Got a pretty solid consistency in the can. Not too dense, not too runny. Get this all in the hopper. Spill a little bit on top. All right, pretty good consistency inside of the hopper. I'm gonna put my mask on and get my safety glasses on and we're gonna spray real quick. All right, let's go.
still have a nice good consistency inside of the hopper. I've got good coverage. I'm just going to texture now. You want a fine texture? Keep your air pressure high and use a quarter to half trigger. That gives you a nice, fine texture. You want a very coarse texture? Step back a little bit. Keep your full air and use the more trigger pull. And if you truly want a very hard texture that's going to be like sandpaper and rip your skin off, the easiest way to achieve that is to let the liner flash for just a few minutes and then you can come back with a heavy fog with full trigger pull with all air pressure um, and when you fog it from a high distance you'll get a very uh, dense coarse texture that'll rip your skin off. So if you want to do that, this is how you achieve it. I'm going to step back and I'm going to coarse texture it. If your material seems to get a little dense inside of the hopper, like this is right here, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with just stirring it a little bit and see it softens right back up. See how it softens up and moves? It doesn't take much, but you can get the consistency that you want out of it simply by mixing it a little longer and this is the effect that you can get out of it. So I've sprayed pretty much everything out of the hopper. I've got a little residual left, but I can scoop it out so we can at least look at what it looks like. Pretty good consistency in my opinion.